Hello everyone, welcome to Jadam. For the past few years, we have seen many people make Jadam solution in small quantities for their home gardening and for small farm. And I have been receiving a lot of questions from them. So today, I'm going to show you how to make 10 liters of Jadam sulfur, also known as JS. Speaking of Jadam sulfur, it is liquefied sulfur made with organic certifiable substance for agriculture use. And I've invented this particular technology of melting sulfur without any external heating for the first time. And from now, let me show you how to make Jadam sulfur. For the ingredient, 99.9% .9 pure sulfur, 98% pure sodium hydroxide, red clay powder, phyllite powder, and sea salt is needed to make Jadam sulfur. For foreign audience, red clay powder and phyllite powder and sea salt is an optional ingredient for more mineral contents in the solution. You can also replace those two ingredients with clay and rock powder. However, this has nothing to do with the melting procedure. For this time, I'll be making Jadam sulfur with just three ingredients, which is sulfur, sodium hydroxide, and sea salt to avoid 24 hour settling process. Here, I have prepared two polyethylene heat resistant bucket, one for jadam sulfur and the other one for prepared water to add during the process. Now, I'll set the scale into zero to weight the amount of water. And next, I will add five liters of water, which is equivalent to five kilo. If you don't have a scale, you can simply measure with the beaker. Before starting this, please wear a protective gloves and glass for your own safety. First, I will add 2.5 kilo of sulfur. And then next, I'm adding 2 kilo of sodium hydroxide. In my original recipe, actually contains phyllite powder and red clay powder. But for this time, I'm just going to add sea salt to avoid 24 hours settling process. As for the sea salt, I will add 250 grams. There is one thing to be cautious in this process. The sequence of adding ingredients should be strictly followed due to possibility of boiling over. Do not change adding sequence. And for this process, I highly recommend using any wooden stick or wooden spatula. Here I have brought 5 liters of the water that I prepared just before the ingredient. I'm not going to add the water little by little. You should add this water all at once. Now let me stir slowly. From now on, you'll be able to see the smoke due to temperature rising. As you can see, the color of the ingredient has changed. The temperature inside goes more than 108 Celsius degree. Looks pretty easy, isn't it? Right now, it may look awful, but when it is complete with beautiful red colored liquefied sulfur can treat almost all disease, such as powdery mildew and anthracnose. And you can make this at home by yourself with very low cost. This is how it looks after 10 minutes. And you can also use hand blender to accelerate the procedure. But make sure that you are using a stainless steel.
Using Blender shortens the time, but I do not recommend using this in the early stage, so stick with the wooden stick in the initial process. Now it is almost liquefied. Let's check if there's anything left underneath. Use the stainless steel ladle to flow down the leftover sulfur on the wall of the bucket. Now the first initial process of making jadam sulfur is completed. This is so far the best solution in the world to eliminate disease and viruses that occur during farming and small gardening. Moreover, any pest and disease does not build up tolerance to jadam sulfur. And when using jadam sulfur, jadam wetting agent must be mixed to see its synergistic effect. It is very easy to make it, isn't it? I have also made a long video about making 100 liters of jadam sulfur. I'll put a banner up here. It is comparably long video, but in there, you can also hear a lot more detailed information about jadam sulfur. Once the initial stage is completed, I will add 3.2 liters of water to finish the whole process. Using a hand blender can save a lot of time after using the wooden stick. Here, right now, I'm adding the water. Because I didn't add red clay powder and phyllite powder, the time of whole procedure has drastically lessened. I will now wait for the jadam sulfur to be a little bit cool so that I can store it in a bottle. Before storing into the bottle, I would like to remind you that ordinary plastic bottle is weak in heat, so using heat resistant bottle is wise option to store jadam sulfur. You can also find a lot of options of bottles online. Now I have made 10 liters of 25% pure liquefied jadam sulfur with 2.5 kilo of 99.9% .9 pure sulfur, 2 kilo of sodium hydroxide and 250 grams of sea salt. The dosage of first use begins with 40 cc for 20 liters and 1 liter for 500 liters. There is no shelf life, so you can use it for a few years. It is the world's most ultimate natural disinfectant, which can even treat anthracnose that can be made by yourself. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.